in Titusville, Florida. Titusville. A woman trying to buy a birthday card like any good woman would uh, called police when she was accidentally barricaded inside a CVS store in Central Florida. Accidentally. Lily in Rimmel stopped at Titusville CVS at Titus, 9.50 p.m. Make it, sure, make it clear. It's Titusville. It's not Titusville. It's Titusville. Titusville, Titusville, 9.50 p.m., 10 minutes before doors closed like a dumb bitch. Wow. Friday, to that make a quick so... purchase, unaware the store was about to close, despite all of the signs on the door notifying her and probably an announcement over the speakers. Just <laughs> probably saying. like 15 announcements leading up to the closing of the store. As she right. walked towards the checkout just after 10 p.m., after the store was closed, she triggered a motion sensor alarm and found herself barricaded inside. Barricaded! And a, then, metal, a metal security gate blocked the front entrance as sirens oh, blared. I there. started screaming, is anyone here? Oh, wait, hold on, is that the best you can do? Me, come on, said. come on, you gotta, you gotta, come on, embellish that more. I can't. I started screaming, is anybody <laughs> here? Can anyone help me? See, that's how you embellish. Florida Today reports Rimmel. Her name's Rimmel. It's Florida woman. Ram, 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 Florida Rimmel. Woman. Rimmel. Rimmel was worried Rimmel. someone would mistake her for a burglar. Right. So she stood in front of a security camera and dialed police. They contacted the manager to come and let her out, who was probably just pulling out of the parking lot, seeing as they just fucking closed. Are you kidding me? That's probably what he said. Yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, shit, man. I was just so nervous that I did something wrong. Yeah, you like did. an asshole. You did. I didn't, know, I didn't know this could happen. I was dumbfounded. No, you're dumb. Emphasis on the oh. word dumb. You're dumb. Oh, oh my oh, God. And, and she said, Rimmel said, there was no announcement warning the store was closing. Other than the three announcements that there were. Well, the fact that no one else was in the store. Yeah. Or the fact that it says closing on the door. I don't know. She said she didn't know how store employees could have missed her. She is a six foot tall. She is she is six feet tall and said she could look over all the partitions. I could look over every one of the aisles, so I don't know how they didn't see me, she told the newspaper. No one said anything to no me. No one. No one. No one. Maybe because you're fucking an asshole and you're in the store ten minutes before it's closing. Are you believing her story? No, she's a dumbass. Police responded to her 911 call and waited for the manager to arrive. They helped calm Rimmel down and said there was no wrongdoing by anyone. Yeah, there was. The manager said she couldn't comment. Yeah, because she's going to get in fucking trouble. But CVS spokesperson Mike DeAngelis said in an early May, early Oh my email, gosh, these people are so stupid. In an email Monday that the company sincerely apologizes for the incident. CVS goes on apology tour. We are reinforcing... The correct store closing procedures with all of our stores to prevent this from occurring again. Okay. Only in Florida. Okay. Uh, it's Florida woman. Yep. Florida woman. So, so we're not done with the story because, okay, this is the way that I see it. Okay. I'm going to do a dramatic reenactment. Ready? Um, yep. Just kind of, oh, we're going to be closing the store in 10 minutes. Oh, good. They're going to be closing the store in 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, let me just hide under the... Here's my here's my 15 minutes of fame on Little Zilla. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to hide. You know what? Little Zilla, eventually, it's going to be like, after a while, people talk about, yeah, hey, man, this is a sports highlight. I'm going to be on ESPN. <laughs> people are going to do dumb stuff and they're going to be like, I'm going to be on Little Zilla. Well, anyway. It, it's it's ridiculous. But, oh, look, well, I, have, well, I have insight from... I, from from my mom, too. Go ahead. The bitch thought she was entitled to be there as long as she wanted. Dirt, and lights God. and lights go out when the alarm is set. Okay. I just want to say, okay, this is this is the real real meal deal story. Ready? I'm so I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna sneak into that store there. And I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna wait until the closing time. I'm gonna hide underneath the I gotta hide behind the tampon aisles here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crouch down a little, crouch down a little, and then when everybody leaves, I'm gonna get all the tampons I want, and then I'm gonna book it. I got all the tampons. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. Oh crap! Oh crap! It's it's closed automatically. Oh crap! What do I do? I gotta play this off. I gotta play this off. Let's play this off. I know. I know what I. I I know what I do. I'll say I was locked inside. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
He did the monster mash. <laughs> and that's how we're going to end that story, right? Yep. <laughs>